Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is um, a drake, a fire drake, uh, 3D printed on my uh, on my resin printer. And uh, today, I'm going to paint it. So, let's get on with it. Right, so here is the wee beastie. Uh, it's in three pieces, as you can see. It's moulded, it's, it's printed in three pieces. Um... It's actually a blind drake. It doesn't have any eyes. Uh, but my daughter wants it to have eyes, so I'm going to try and paint some on it somehow. But uh, basically, this is something that uh, she picked the design for. She didn't pick the design, she picked the model. Uh, it came from uh, my mini factory. There's a set of three of them, so I'll be doing the other two at a later date. But um, it's, yeah, it's basically a, a, a blind fire drake. Uh, but she has decided that she wants it black, which is great because black is a really awful colour to paint, as any of you who have ever done any model making or figure painting will know. Um, so, yeah, I've basically, I've cleaned it all up. Uh, I've adjusted the the, uh, the pins that hold it together so that it all fits together okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, before I put it together, I'm going to give it a quick coat of grey primer and that's basically so that if there's any glaring faults on the model that I've missed, hopefully that will show them up. I know it sounds weird because it's already already grey, but believe me, when this is painted grey, you'll see the difference. So let me do that. I'm going to use. Um, let's put that out of the way for a minute. I'm going to use this high coat grey primer. Uh, you've seen me use this before. This is actually really it's car paint, but it's really really good for models and for figures. Um, so yeah, I'll give it a coat of this and then we'll see if I've missed anything. Right, so I've painted these bits. Uh, they've actually come out really well. Um, that's pretty much fine, that wing. Uh, the body's okay. There's one, this basically along here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a couple of minor little bits, but I'm not really worried about that. And uh, like I say, the, the actual, the body is uh, absolutely fine. So that doesn't need anything doing to it. I'm actually quite pleased with how well I clean that up. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a coat of uh, another from a rattle can again, this uh, matte black. So that'll be like our base colour coat. So I'll put this on and then um, we can start actually doing some painting. Right, this has had a coat of uh, the matte black now, as I said, and it's had a chance to dry. So what I'm going to do is start putting some highlights on it. And unfortunately, the camera's not picking them up very well. But um, the trick with things like this is to, is to kind of look at it and see where the natural highlights are and then try and emphasize them. So that's what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this Chaos Black and I'm going to mix it with a little tiny bit of this white scar to make it a very dark grey, basically and then use that to highlight down the sides. Right. See, oh, he says dropping it like that. So I'll go over the whole thing with this, and then basically I'll go over it again with a slightly lighter shade and so on. But the trick is just to kind of like let the light play on it, see where the highlights are. And say, so figure painting really isn't my forte, but that's why we practice to get better. There we go. I'll do the rest of this and then we'll move on to a slightly lighter shade. Right, so not that you can really tell but that's the first layer of black on. So what I'm going to do now is lighten it slightly and go over it again, like this.
There you go. And I'll do the same again, go over the whole of the rest of it, just like that. Right, and there we are again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep going over this, getting progressively lighter. So I think you've got an idea of what I'm doing now. So I'll just keep at this and uh, and, and basically keep highlighting all of these. And then um, what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll come back and show you it once it's uh, once it's all highlighted, because basically it's just sitting here watching me do the same thing over and over again is probably going to get a bit tedious. <laughs> I'm going to leave those highlights as they are for now. I'm going to do one final pass on the highlights, but what I want to do next is I want to do uh, his claws and teeth and things, and I'm going to do that with this um, bleach bone, and I also want to use that for the final highlight pass. So I'm going to do uh, the inside of his mouth next. So what I want to do is, because uh, obviously this is black, so what I want to do is go uh, around the inside of his mouth a little bit with uh, some white, just so that when I put the various colours on, they're not quite so uh, muted. I want it quite kind of vivid. So we'll do that next. Right, so this is um, Corax White which is one of the uh, the base colours and I'm just going to kind of go over his tongue a little bit because I want that when I do it nice and, and vivid so I'm trying to do this under the camera is almost impossible but I shall do what I can his tongue. So what I want to do now is I'm going to paint the inside of his mouth pink and then do the red over the top of it. Right, this is uh, Slanish Pink, I think. It's, uh, it's one of the very old sets from Citadel. And they don't actually put on the bottle what they are. What they used to do is put it on the box, but not on the bottle. So. so I'm just going to go around the inside of his mouth. Now you notice I didn't highlight these bits with the white because I actually want them to stay quite dark. Going around this, his like jawline, around between his teeth, and all that kind of thing, to get some colour in there. So I don't want it too bright. I want his tongue to kind of stand out. So, but it's more just to give him some sort of gums and things. So I am desperately trying to keep this under the camera. So I apologise if it drops out of. out of view every now and again but as you can imagine this is not the easiest thing in the world to paint I don't actually know what colour the inside of a drake's mouth would be I'm kind of assuming it's something like a a dog or a cat or something <laughs> On the top, I think it's more like he's more like a, a crocodile actually, where it's it's like his teeth are coming straight out of his lips almost. So it's more a case of getting around the insides of them rather than the outside. There you go. 
doesn't look too bad. Right, let's get in there with some reds and things and do his do his tongue. Okay, this is uh, ruby red for his tongue. Oh, so I'm going to open. Like I say, I'm going to put a wash and things in his mouth as well, so that will help. So let's do his teeth next. And for that, I'm going to use this uh, bleached bone. Right. Go. Right, I'm going to do his claws and things as well with this. Now my daughter's turned up. Hi. Say hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. This is entirely your fault, you know. Kiss you. You should be doing this, not me. Right, let's do his wing spine claw things as well. I'll do the rest of these and then we'll come back and look at the next step. Okay, so I've just gone over the inside of his mouth with a bit of red ink as well, just to kind of blend it all together. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some brown ink, specifically uh, this really, really old Citadel ink, and I'm going to go around the edges of his mouth and around all his claws and things. So the trick here is we don't want too much just to get into those edges of those little grooves and things around his teeth. It's just to create a bit of a transition between his mouth and his uh, jawline. It's one of these effects that when you do it, it seems barely noticeable, but if you don't do it, you'll, you'll, you'll see it. Try and get in around the base of his teeth as well. It's 
what it also does is it just creates a bit of a bit of staining on his teeth and again helps blend the base of his teeth with his jaw and we'll do the same on his claws just go around the base them like that and it just helps break up that sort of stark line between the ivory and the and the black I say especially on something like this where it's such a different colour you need something to kind of pull it together. And my daughter's still here, currently breathing in my ear. <laughs> well, I don't mind, I'm, as long as you see what I'm doing. Yeah, well, could you not? Because that's just irritating. Especially when you've got chocolate around your mouth. <laughs> From endless Easter eggs. Alright, let's do his wings. So I'll do the rest of these wings, spikes and whatnot, and then we'll move on from there. Right, I've just touched up his teeth a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is go round his mouth and again his claws with this uh, Reichland Flesh Shade uh, wash, just to uh, soften that edge a little bit more. Uh, so now I think I'm going to stick his wings on. And then I'll give him a coat of uh, matte varnish, and I think we can probably call this done. Uh, super glue, is what we need. Right, I've just been reliably reminded that he needs eyes on him, even though it's a blind drake. But yes, we've got to put eyes on him, so we'll do that. Um, okay, let's see how we're going to do this. I know. This is going to be good for a laugh, trying to paint eyes on something that doesn't have eyes. Wow. Well, no one eyes on it. Yeah, I know you want eyes on it. Right. I've got an idea. An idea. <laughs> Get it? Idea. Laugh or you're disowned. <laughs> Right, because um, he does have these kind of bulges here that kind of look like eyes. Well, I think what I'm going to do is just, let's try this. This is um, this is uh, Corax uh, White, which is a, a base layer. So what I'm going to do is just... Looks like grey to me. Well, I don't care. The point is, it will let me do that. And now I've got to do one on the other side and try and make them match up so he doesn't look boss-eyed. So now we'll put some colour. So what colour did you want them? The right one needs to be green and the left one needs to be yellow. Right. Any particular type of green and yellow? It's green and yellow. Yeah, I know, but there's a million different shades of green and yellow. 
light green, dark green, mid green, emerald green, emerald sapphire green, green aquamarine. What? You can't say green. British racing green. <laughs> lime green. <laughs> I'll just get some green, shall I? Emerald green. I don't know what you've given it. Shut up. Um, that putrid green. That green. It's not green. <laughs> Goblin green. Pick one of those three. Which one? You're having putrid green because I like that. Whoa, no! I need a dark green. What is dark green? What are you talking about? What is light? Oh, good grief. Right, fine. It's not green then. Put it right over you. It's not green. Shush. It's not technically isn't green. Sunburst yellow. The oldest pot of paint in the world. Okay. Will it explode? Probably. Um, right, which eye's which? The right eye needs to be green. And the the left right eye as we're looking at it, or the right eye, his right eye? What? And do you want it completely green, or do you want some white in it? green enough for you? Mm. Well that's what it's getting so if you want it done any differently do it yourself. Alright let's see what state this yellow is in. Oh not too bad. I was expecting it just to be a pile of yellow dust at the bottom. Well yeah. Not far off that. There, one yellow, one green. Are you happy now? Yeah. Good. Right. Let this dry and then we'll put the wings on. Right, so the next step is to stick his wings on. I'm just going to use this cheapo super glue from the pound shop. Two. We'll let those dry for a little while and then we'll put some varnish on it. Right, well his wings have dried now so I'm going to give him a coat of this uh, high coat uh, matte lacquer. Uh, it's not as matte as it could be but it's a, it's a good finish, something like this. Um, so I'll give it a couple of coats of that and uh, then I think we can wrap this up. And here is our finished article. Um, yeah, I'm quite pleased that this came out. It was a bit of a quick and dirty job but it's does what we want so 
Uh, are you happy with it? Wildly content. Yeah, that's about right. Um, yeah, so as I say, painting black is not the easiest thing in the world to do, and I could have done probably a better job if someone hadn't been standing over me, rushing me to get it done. But uh, yeah, it will give us something to play with, and now we can get on and print do the next one. Do the next one, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this video. Um, if you do fancy supporting me on Patreon, that would be much appreciated. And uh, perhaps join us in the staff canteen on Facebook and uh, show us what you've been up to. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks very much for watching. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Say goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Katie. Anyway, cheers. Bye. <laughs>